so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 24 days of led december so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give big thumbs up if you do if you're not subscribed please go to subscribe really make my day and today we are discussing all of my cash envelopes sinking fund cash envelopes and the envelopes that i'm doing and some challenges that i'm doing in 2024 besides the budget mom savings challenges so i just want to make that clear i do the budget mom savings challenges every year but this year i'm trying to reach two big goals so i am doing two other challenges as well so let's just jump into it so we're going to start off with my variable spending envelopes these i got from the budget mom i bought her pre-packaged ones to use so the first one is cashless this is my gas slash car um everything for my car is cashless so i am going to be using this then we have my cash envelopes with my cash envelopes checkers in there so let's talk about them the first one is food this is my all-encompassing eating out and groceries which is a set amount for each um i don't have it on there but this and then i just have the matching tracker to go with it same with my beauty envelope this is my nails shower supplies hair care all that shower supplies makeup all the things right here um i do also have one singing fun envelope that's not with me as i'm looking at things miscellaneous this is a new envelope for me this is something that i've always tried to keep in my budget but i have been slacking on keeping this in my budget so i am determined this year to not let this one go um at all so that's in here this one is a new cash envelope the reason being is that i do buy some household supplies that we use that like me and my son use even though we live with family so like we use i use laundry detergent washer whips those sorts of things um so I am creating my own household envelope um, and I consider my son's pull-ups that I pay for as part of because if you're new here I have a special needs son we're still working on some potty training we're also working on some what I mean by potty training is pooping on the potty and he needs reminders to go to the bathroom so we're still in pull-ups um, so that is what I consider part of the household, even though it's not a household, um, even though it's technically for my son. So there's those. So now we have my sinking fund envelopes, which I talked about in another video, but I want to talk about them again in case anyone misses that. We have Easter, which is 150. I shared that in my um, supply one. So you guys will see that I have a holiday sinking fund, but I also have separate envelopes. That's because I already made these envelopes before making that and i just don't want to remake them so easter i have medical sinking fund which i have a goal of 300 dollars. this is a rolling sinking fund for that i have came brown concert um this says 100 but we're actually doing 200 um but we're leaving it alone joshua's birthday this is again 400 this is actually for this year and i need to start saving for it so the ones that need to be starting i need to start saving for that our priority are going to be moved to the front of this pile a medical one is a priority for me i have graduation as a priority back to school which is a goal of 480 we're not there yet um halloween and subscriptions this is another one that's important um a goal of 400 that's uh sports and activities i have a rolling sinking fund here for clothing with a goal the reason being is that I buy clothes for myself two times a year and I buy clothes for my son two times a year. And I decided to just make a sinking fund because, um, especially for me, not for my son, I do like to buy secondhand, but I also want to start buying more ethical pieces, more long-lasting pieces, so I know that this will come in handy. Christmas, a goal of a 1000 I have in my emergency fund envelope. This is new. And I also have a car maintenance envelope, which is not physically here at the moment. So the next thing that we're going to talk about are the challenges I'm doing. I am doing the $5 challenge. Now, we're going to see how long this envelope lasts. I got this off Best Kept Plans. But the reason I say that is because I have been debating getting one of those breakable ones instead of this. Because I don't know throughout the year if this is going to last. So we're going to try it out for the first couple months and see how I feel. 
I'm also doing the 52 a week day challenge, but I'm doing it in reverse. I'm doing 52, which I showed you guys, and that 52 and etc. And I'm also going to be doing the $100 challenge. So that's something that's going to be happening throughout the year. I'm also going back to Transfer Tuesdays. I am focusing on doing Transfer Tuesdays. But um, so you'll see a lot of movement when it comes to my saving challenges because I have two really, really big goals, which if you saw my video on my vision board, you will know those two really big goals. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you do. For now, subscribe. Please go to subscribe really quick today and I will see you all next time.